My answer is that Brooke and Connor butted heads the most. But yeah. again, where did you get that from? That's going to be my answer now. <laughs> anyway. Brooke, I'm genuinely Brooke, sweating from that. From that, you, there's talk listening on your Why? face. Why? Because you feel like you're wrong. Yeah, because no, you're... because I feel like you're so wrong. Really? Yeah. I know. I like. You're telling her not to eat. I know firmly. All right. I know. Remember firmly. earlier that I said I stand with Brooke. Yeah, yeah, I do. You s- you stood with me when I said not. I sh- you shouldn't support all women. I didn't say that's that. the only thing you've ever stood again. With me on. You're, pu- you're putting words in your mouth that you're, that is open while you chew. Easy. Ooh. You're. So I said hot. I stand She's with you punch because you, in the face. you you said we it uh, you don't need to support all women. And then you were the first one to jump up and say I stand with Brooke the first time you've ever stood with me. Mm-hmm. All right, I stand with you a lot, and I sit with you a lot once a week mm-hmm. on this podcast, yeah. and I'll continue to do that. Mm-hmm. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Brooke and Connor Make a Podcast. We are here once again with our friends Jack Martin and Sally Dar Griffin. If you haven't heard last week's episode, Brooke, what should they do? Um, I would recommend going back and listening to it. Yeah, no, that yeah, that like if you have the chance. That's brilliant, Brooke. <laughs> Thank oh you. my, I didn't. <laughs> I, um, yeah, so go back and listen to it. We did a full rundown of our like the beginning of our time together in the content house that we made, common room, how it came to be, whatever. So whatever, et cetera, is what I meant to say. Yes. If you haven't heard that, go back and listen to it, check it out. But let's get back into it, shall we? Yes. I think where we left off was Jack was telling us how he got into, you know, an intense fitness yes. schedule in the second or third week of our time together. Yeah, I was soaking my zero carb cereal zero carb milk cereal. for days and days. For days mm-hmm. with a side of creatine, of course, goes yeah. without saying. And then Meanwhile, Connor, and we were looking for something to do as well. So, mm-hmm. And Connor suggested. I created two female Seth Rogans. That we become mm-hmm. stoner. And yeah. thank you. Thank so you that, that you were saying that that the weed didn't have a great effect on you. No, I was having, I mean, I immediately had a panic attack. Right. And I was like, this isn't for me. I probably took, like, I don't know milligrams or anything, but I, I probably had like one tenth of what yeah. a normal person would ingest <laughs> to the, like, to the, to yeah. hell with me. Yeah. Meanwhile, I, I was like, am I going to be here forever? Thought I was the next greatest comedian. Yeah. Me as well. You? Me yeah. as well. Yeah. And I would write these skits and I was like, these are so, so brilliant. Like mm-hmm. submitting this to SNL. And then Connor would just be like, oh, like, and we actually, my God, we have a clip. You? Yeah. No, yeah. I, I was, there was a time when I was like, yeah. Brooke, we've lost her. Like yeah. we've lost Brooke. To, well, we would come home gunge. and you would just be like locked in your room and I would hear this like high pitched laughter. Like a hyena <laughs> shrieking I was through the walls. I was cracking myself up from, I just thought, I, I really thought I was like the next greatest thing. And we can show we you have I. A, you yeah. have a, you have a TikTok that I was like, are you sure you want to post this? <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I, I thought I had a really, really brilliant idea. And just to preface this video. Oh my God, this is so great. <laughs> so, I so I was like, how fucking funny would it be if I brought Connor in to show him something and I start playing the cha-cha slide music, but instead of doing the cha-cha slide, I'm going to do Cotton Eye Joe. Mm-hmm. And Art. I was like, this is not stuff that this is, this is, no. this is a stuff this is comedy. of a legend. This, this is, is comedy Michaels. ascending. And like, yeah. this I is not... want to mm-hmm. say you were right. Yeah. This like, is so funny. Well, can we watch it? Yeah. yeah. We can, yeah. We can and and if you're it. on YouTube, you can Dance see this clip. Hey, on my new song. <laughs> Just like no breath. Smokers laugh. <laughs> I was like excited to see yeah. what what your you joke were, like, was. Confused. Check out my new song. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, you're done. You're done. I could not, because I was just excited for what I was. I was excited for what I was about to show him. That's why I couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> she can't breathe. <laughs> she, I can't believe I posted that, and no one knew. <laughs> I'm like, there's no way. He's doing the Cotton Eye Joe to the Josh Joshua slide. <sighs> Hi, and welcome and that, I mean, that was. And then God. after that, I watched that the next day and I was like, all right. By the way, I, I'm I, throwing I, my weed pen. That was so good. I, I want to flag that that has 70,000 likes. 
That's crazy. Maybe I'm honest. It was after an all. awesome video. But anyway, that is what made you me throw out. should smoke more weed. I didn't throw out my weed pen, but I definitely. Well, the issue the issue with us smoking is we would smoke. Mm-hmm. We would have great ideas, and we would then you go to sleep. <laughs> no, we weren't really capable of filming them in the moment. Yeah. We tried, but they were always horrible. And then when we would watch it later, right. it would be like, well, what? that just isn't gonna. work. Yeah, no, it's not gonna work. And what's so funny is that like, I think like no one knew that you were like high right. or whatever, and that. But sure everyone thought that I was stoned in every one of my videos. Right. People are like, you were zonked and to the moon. And it was me like, all along. I know. Which no one expected. I, mean, I have to say, I feel like in that one, people could maybe tell. I feel like, because that was really my first time smoking ever, and it was just so far from my brand that I don't think anyone even considered it. Well, yeah, what were no. some of the comments? I remember some of the comments like, like whoa, our- like what, what the hell? You're flopping. What's going on? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah. That, people that, are like, she's lost. What's it. so yeah. funny is, like, I think about this content house, and I remember, I remember looking at other people that, like, like Carolyn Rick and that whole group that, like, they were, they were so funny, and they like found their brand yeah. and their content house, and they grew by millions of followers. And I was like, oh, like, you simply just need to be around other people, right? And it'll work. My most flop floparama era was living in the house. I know we were having too much fun. We were having such a so lot. It was, it was really fun. We we I mean we had the time of our lives. You made a good video about Army Hammer. Yeah, and that was my first time getting canceled. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, what's funny is like we we thought that we would grow so much, and we grew a little. I we guess. did. But so other content the house houses got like a hundred k in a month. I I feel good about. And it. then it yeah. just stopped there. Well, yeah. I think because we had ha- we had seen like other houses do this, and it was just like all of these things but like these houses these other houses what a lot of people don't know about these content houses with these teenagers they're all managed by right. adults right yeah they talent have someone managers telling them like make a video who's saying this is your you have to do this right and granted none of their things were bits that, that they're waking up and writing but it we had a very different experience and we were like comparing ourselves to these people right. that like we're getting and we didn't have anyone holding us accountable no. besides ourselves, and we weren't really and capable. We of couldn't do that at right. twenty five. Well, yeah. and also, like, even though it like wasn't that long ago, like it was kind of like a different time on TikTok. Right like, uh-huh. now, like everybody who's doing comedy or anything in entertainment is on TikTok. Like at right. this time, it pretty much just was like the shirtless dancers. Yeah. So, to, and to give like some context around this, this is the era. Like this was before. Please don't destroy. It got signed to SNL. Right. So, like I to, in my in in my head, I'm like I didn't know that comedy groups could exist. Like I didn't like what was the what's neighbor group good what, neighbor good, good neighbor like yeah. I was unaware of them as a group I know all the individuals obviously but like I didn't know that comedy groups could mm-hmm. like prevail so I was thinking like we'll all individually post videos and like grow and whatever but I didn't know that as a group like that right. that could be our like main thing and also at the same time this is the era when if you're familiar with TikTok Bryce Hall's electricity is getting shut off for having parties, massive parties during the pandemic. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, we're in this house. We're only seeing each other because mm-hmm. it was literally like right. peak pandemic. Like people right. are wearing masks outside to walk Restaurants their dog. Restaurants weren't open. Yeah. Restaurants, Restaurants weren't together. open. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. So like it was pretty much like we had, we were, I was losing my mind. Yeah. Like, Every uh, Friday was just like the four of us yeah. just sitting around like drinking. Yeah. Like right. we had nothing to do. Right. Just slowly losing We would go on minds, walks. Deteriorating. It yeah. was so overwhelming, even though we had nothing to do. Yeah, that was the somehow. It was like paralyzing. Yeah. yeah, it was paralyzing. Um, but so, anyways, we're in this Airbnb for what, like uh, over a month, right? Uh, two months. Over a, little, a month. A little over a month. And then we had tried. Oh, and I would, I would walk. So basically, at the end of our like one month stint, which was a trial period for us to be like, can we do this? Let's see, like. We had all agreed that, like, if we get a brand deal for the right. house and we pay our rent, since we're because we were paying for it, right? And it was expensive. If if we get a brand deal and we break even, that's a win, right? And I don't think we got a brand deal in the first house. We didn't. Yeah, no. I don't think so. so we no. we we gave it a, we gave it no. an extended trial period, and we we're like, okay, maybe we need to do two, one month. You can't do anything in thirty days. Right. Granted, I think we had like seventy five thousand followers on our joint right. account at that point, right? And all of our videos were performing. And we had so some well. we had some nibbles. We had some interest. Yeah. yeah, sure. But we uh And we also had gained a lot of followers or a good amount of followers personally and followers in TikTok language is the most valuable currency. Mm-hmm. So I think uh, we were looking at it as like okay, like we're getting these numbers, like that's worth it even if we didn't get a brand deal. Yeah. Yeah. Um and so I basically like talked to the Airbnb person. I was like we'd really cuz it was a family home. Mm-hmm. And I was like can we extend like all the stuff and they basically like approved it, but I didn't tell the group and I, I came into the room and I was like, guys, we have to we have to talk. No, like, you texted oh, us before. That is the this, biggest that is understatement not what happened at yeah. all. of this century. 
you send us a, a text to the group chat saying we need to talk. Mm-mm. And he's he just- He said house meeting. House meeting. Oh, God. Is the phrase. Period. House meeting. Period. period. Mm-hmm. The most menacing text I've ever received in my life. Mm-hmm. Like basically sending a 911 text to the group. And he's just, we, no one even knows where he is. I think you and I were in the house and we were like, where the hell even is yeah. Connor? I was a blue bottle. With me. Yeah, I was with did, him he, while this was happening he and he still that. wouldn't tell me. And we asked he was like, you, we'll we talk like, about it when we get back. Talk we'll talk him? about it when we get back. Oh my God. It was so scary. And it was so scary because we all knew this had something to do with if we could stay Keep or in mind, go. these are four adults in a content house and everyone's like, this was the scariest moment of my life. It was. <laughs> and, it, it was and it was. It was either going to do two things. It was going to be extended or we were going to be kicked out yeah. and we would be, like, Brooke would have to Back to square one. Also, like, yeah. for some reason in general in this house, there was a high amount of stress. We all felt like this was a life or death thing. Yeah, well, right. I, I think it all kind of, like, hinges on this fact that, like, with TikTok, so much... So you can get an email that changes your life, yeah. mm-hmm. like just an email that could come at any point of any day. And I kept waiting for that to happen, for us to get signed on to something. And like, yeah. I was just like, why hasn't it happened yet? Yeah, like why is it more? Twenty-four, 24 days into this project mm-hmm. that we're testing. Um, so, anyways, we we get in there, and like I had gotten the message that we got approved to extend, and I sit down, sit them down. I have a video of it. I don't know where it is, but they're based. I'm like, guys. We got approved to stay, and like they're like, we hate you. We're so mad at you. Like, yeah, our response was like, fuck you. Yeah, it was yeah. like everyone, like mm-hmm. no one was excited. Everyone was like, you're that's so fucking annoying that you did that. And I was like, that's funny to me. Just like most of my TikToks are funny to me, and they right. don't, they're not very well received either. Right. But um, so I'm gonna fast forward maybe like what three days? Three days. Yeah. So we we were just, like hanging out and, by noon. and 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 well, come on. <laughs> we basically get a DM. From the owner of the house who has found our- Via Instagram, via, not on the app. Yeah. Right. Who has found our joint account and has found out that three adult creators, <laughs> three adult content creators have absolutely exposed his home, his family home, and we need to be out by noon. And this is at 7 a.m. I've rolled yep. over in my bed and I'm checking our DMs and I, I walk into little Brooke's room and I say, hey, Brooke. And I had two twin beds, and I had just finally pushed them together, which was something I was dreaming about. I had been living out of a suitcase, and I had just unpacked when he had that conversation with us for the first time since we moved in. We had finally been like, we're home. Yeah, we we'd extended for like two more months, and we were like, "This is now we're gonna be productive. Like, we feel comfortable. We have a place to stay indefinitely. Like, we are good. We're gonna do this. We're gonna blow up. We're gonna be signed to SNL by next week. Like, mm-hmm. all this stuff. And I'm sleeping in bunk beds, by the way, which I was used to. This is my second yeah. house in a row sleeping in bunk beds. Yeah. I like bunk beds. It feels safe in the bottom mm-hmm. bunk. Okay. Mm-hmm. And um, <laughs> hey, guys, we're gonna take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Apostrophe. Have you ever had an acne breakout come at the worst possible time? I have. I think basically mm-hmm. every worst possible time is when I get, mm-hmm. when I break out. The only times, actually. Um, first day shooting this podcast, that's why I wore a hat. I had like six pimples up at the top mm-hmm. of my head. I, I Every picture day I would cry and tell my mom, like, why would you do this to me? Why would you, why why did, why did was I born if I was going to have a pimple on picture day? Mm-hmm. It's not fair to mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. I get breakouts at the worst of times, the best of times, any time in between, um, right. as well as every day. So... Apostrophe is a prescription skincare company that offers science-backed oral and topical medications that are clinically proven to help clear acne. It connects you with a board-certified dermatologist who will create a personalized treatment plan that's perfectly tailored to your unique skin. Simply fill out Apostrophe's online quiz about your skin goals and medical history, then snap a few selfies and your dermatologist will create your customized treatment plan. Apostrophe treats all types of acne, from hormonal acne to facial acne and even chest acne, back acne, and butt acne. They treat breakouts from head to toe. It's nice to know that you had a real dermatologist and that your plan is tailored. Submitting your visit is quick and you don't need to schedule an appointment. We have a special deal for our audience. Save $15 off your first visit with an apostrophe provider at apostrophe.com slash BNC. That's apostrophe.com slash B-A-N-D-C when you use our code BNC, B-A-N-D-C. This code is only available to our listeners. To get started, just go to apostrophe.com slash BNC and click begin visit. Then use our code BNC to sign up and you'll get your first visit for only $5. That's apostrophe.com slash BNC and use that code BNC to get your dermatologist crafted treatment plan for $5. And we thank Apostrophe for sponsoring this podcast. I walk into Brooke's room and I go, hey, hey, Brooke, morning. And she goes, uh, like, hey, I'm like, go ahead and pack your stuff because we're. <laughs> go, hey, what go ahead, you, gather your hey, things. Go, go ahead and. Just, 
Get the fuck out of my house, bro. <laughs> go ahead and pack all of your belongings because we're being we're, we're we're being evicted. And then I go, and she goes, "Are you serious?" I, go, I thought he was filming again because he had just done that whole bit with making us sweat about if we could stay or not. So I'm like, "Where's like your phone? Where's earlier. your phone?" He's filming. Mm-hmm. Like Jack is gonna walk out behind him. Yeah. And then, like, and then, after 10 minutes of being like, where's your phone? You're filming. This is a bit. I go, Brooke, no, you have three hours to pack your belongings. <laughs> we got to go. We got to get out of here. <laughs> we also don't have a place to go. And we also have nowhere to go. Yeah. So back to HQ. Which I'm is, looking at flights again. Back to the right. U-Haul. Philly. Not to toot my own horn, but I think I'm, like, the sole reason that Brooke still lives in Los Angeles. 100%. Yeah. Like, I begged her. I was like, do not buy a flight. Yeah. And you literally, everybody was coping in a different way. Like you, you like couldn't pack. You were just like standing there. Yeah. Like, uh, Jack was just standing I there. I, I was like throwing things out. at the wall, looking for flights to Philly. I, God knows what you were doing. Well, you know exactly what I was doing. For some reason, when everyone's upset in a very high stress situation, I am over the moon. Like, like, we like let's can... get a drink. He I was, was like, happy. I was yeah. like, guys, why don't we just go to a bar and we'll talk about it? Like, <laughs> there is no reason to be upset. We're alive. We're well. We're in Hollywood. Meanwhile, like in my head, I'm like, I'm going to kill myself. Right. But like, I couldn't be like that in front of you guys because right. you guys were already suicidal. You went to a rooftop bar. You were like, I you went and had a drink. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know what? There's no point in stressing. It's already done. We're going to figure it out. And guess what? We did. We found a new Airbnb. And on paper, it looked great. We just clicked on the first thing. We and clicked on it. it. Yeah. We went over there. We moved. One of and, you showed it to me, and, and I was like, just do it. In the yeah. evening, we, we moved in, and, and our stoner landlord walked, did a walkthrough and said, basically, like, I don't really give a shit what you do in here. You can do anything. You can do anything yeah. you want. And I said, this seems like the place for us. Well, and the mysterious man who owned the house was like in Bali on some sort of. Mm-hmm. Like, it was very. Con- he did. He came back from Bali at one. Oh no. Some sort of spirit. Was it journey. him? Or we'll get. We'll, we'll, we'll get to the Bali. He also that. designed the house with his own two hands. And like, <laughs> and I can only say that that house was designed by someone from an architectural standpoint, by someone that. Didn't get was on heavy, heavy right. psychedelics. It's LSD. LSD. And we I found out that too. with it, meeting him it, that he was. He was, and he yeah. was on psychedelics. He yeah. was. And I also feel like it would have been someone who was on monkey bars, hanging upside down, drawing with their non-dominant hand, and with their eyes closed yeah. on LSD, and just like they're like, "That's it's perfect." Can we describe the layout of the house? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So oh I mean, God, it yeah. was it was a it looks like such a big house when you pull up to it, but right. we got we got like a long narrow strip of this house. You walk in, amazing vaulted ceilings, huge mm-hmm. cathedral style living room connected to the kitchen. And then you walk direct, like you have to walk through every bedroom to get so to each one. So it was kitchen, bathroom that like guests would use, just like the main bathroom of the house. No door that, like a sliding door that doesn't lock to close the door from the bathroom, to separate the bathroom and the kitchen. And then immediately walking through the bathroom is my room. Again, no no doors. Did my? Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Still, something just went yeah. out. Okay. Um, no sort of lock. So mm-hmm. my room just had no. You were just open to Sorry. the living room at all times. No lock. So my room was basically in the kitchen, separated mm-hmm. by a bathroom with yeah. doors that had no. Anyone lock. who used that bathroom would just be putting on a show. Putting on a show, right? Room. There's in nothing like just taking a morning shit and like Jack well, yeah. making a smoothie at the same and, time. And, right. yeah. and, and, yeah. and we'll get into that. So so basically, as you walk through, mm-hmm. I'm I'm in this back bedroom, and then there was a last bedroom that no. you. Had to- you're, well, you had to walk through my room, and then immediately, when walking out of my room, it would be your bathroom. Mm-hmm. Oh, you have to go through through your bathroom to get to your room. Then you would walk outside, and then Jack lived in a shed. Yeah, yeah. There was a <laughs> there was a deck that was never meant to be a deck, and then this small little shed mm-hmm. that I lived in. It was a shed with, I guess, a closet that like just like there were no lights. Right. There was like a single light bulb hanging from the ceiling. And my clothes, I just like had my suitcase sort of pushed in the yeah. corner. Mm-hmm. There was like one window that I think had bars on it that where the sunlight would just sort of flow. That was my only light source. Mm-hmm. And I would just sort of you be pop- in there. There was a door that was like barricaded. Yeah. That right. I don't know where right. it led. It well, led to a different we'll never building. Know. It may be a basement. Yeah. Someone had for some reason been like, I need to put multiple locks on that s- this door. Because yeah. you know, whatever's behind it is like Looking dangerous. back, I would have rather had that shed that locked oh and my, i loved it than I my came, room and i was kitchen. gonna say yeah, you, i came to you, love the shed you pumped out some serious content in that shed yeah yeah, yeah i did. mean that shed was i miss it yeah I miss it, to be honest that's that, that well, shed was your hype house it was my hype house mm-hmm. and there was a great piece of this setup which was that my there was no bathroom in my shed can you imagine right. there was no. A bathroom in my shed? And, and, no that'd be no weird. to use the bathroom i had to leave my shed cross the deck outside go into your bedroom <laughs> walk past your bed uh-huh. and then go to the bathroom which was 
inside your bedroom. Mm-hmm. And and right. And, and there were doors that adjacent to my room. Yeah. And there yeah. were doors that had slits all <laughs> through them that didn't really close. Right. And then there was a toilet Sliding. directly facing where, you where yeah. I sleep. So, so you I just I, I just have to crawl sleep. through your I, bedroom. I want to flag a visual for everybody. Something that Jack, I know we touched on Jack's morning schedule in the last um in the last pod last week, but something missing from Jack's morning schedule is his morning visit to the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. And it was it's morning to pot. So well, when your diet is like 80% liquid. Yeah. Right. So it and, doesn't yeah. really work well. Right. Yeah, well, it comes and, out as fast as it and goes. And guess in. what? Yeah. I'm very aware of how it comes out <laughs> because you were making direct if not if not direct per, I mean you yeah, it was direct. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at you. <laughs> You're just you're Connor, laying, laying Connor down the, through the blinds, looking up at me. You're going beast mode in there, <laughs> like, erupting. You are absolutely going ham. I would genuinely make eye contact with you. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I was yeah. asserting was, my dominance. Yeah, yeah, well, and, and trust. I was marking my and territory trust. And, trust. and trust. It was it was borderline Anyways, romantic. Yeah. Well, what's missing from that schedule is a, a, a 17 minute dumperuski. <laughs> yeah, I mean, every morning there were marks left on the toilet. I know that I are there. still there. <laughs> Um, Legend has so so. Yeah, I'm sure they are. There's no way they cleaned it. That house has never been cleaned. Mm -hmm. So now we're at this place. It's just like not an ideal situation. So naturally, and I couldn't make a video because my door didn't lock. So that's just (laughs) like no. Well, and also the couch. The couch had this one um one cushion that was just hard. Oh, rock hard, rock hard. It was just like rock hard. And hard is like an understatement. That one cushion. That one cushion. Couldn't make a video because yeah. that one. I was every no. time I sat there, just bad mood. So basically, bad, bad mood. we were, we were in this place. We're in this new house for, I think, like a month and a half. We blamed it, the house on everything. It was just like it was. The not, floor's uh, too sticky to make a video today. It, sorry, it was. <laughs> it was not conducive no. to. It was so horrible. We just didn't create any more content, but we finally started getting brand deals. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. We could not film them to save our lives. Yeah, we started getting brand deals for the house as like a conglomerate. Right. As, so like for the four of us and, um. And I, you were I like, want, don't they know? Th- I want to be transparent you about can't it. Make videos. I'm sorry, I just can't stop thinking about like looking at you while taking like a liquid shit. I and try my. It's funny you say that because I try my hardest not to think about uh, that experience. Yeah. Jack's thinking about it all night. It was can't like, stop. It was like, it was like, it was like intense. It was, it was like, powerful. it was like, mm-hmm. it's like you, when you experience that with someone, it's like hard to move on, right? right. Mm-hmm. Like and that'll. I, I mean, I'm surprised that that much volume could move like that i'm not mm. you know? it's not about this it's I'm not actually. about the size of the ship it's about the motion of your anus yeah we <laughs> so we uh it bonded us yeah we uh finally started getting interest from brands and i want to be totally transparent because i like when influencers do this we would get brand deals that would literally break even on us paying rent so we would mm-hmm. get a brand deal from i think tampax was our first one yeah and we can pull up that tiktok in a second but i can't remember what the actual dollar amount was but i think that we were paying each twenty two hundred a month to live in that second right. sh- uh, crazy trap house. It paid our rent, and it paid exactly like yeah. the amount. Yeah. Call us Tampax House. Yeah, yeah. Tampax yeah. House. Yeah, Tampax and car- so like to give total transparency, like I think they paid us like six grand or something to do like one video for a hundred thousand dollars yeah. or something, and then with that math not adding up. Oh, it was like sixty four hundred. It paid exactly. It like paid the rent. Yeah, yeah, we we broke even. I remember like siphoning that directly into Venmo and uh-huh. then pushing it out. Um, so that's what we got paid, and then we got well, and then we got a second one. We got Casper. Yeah, yeah. Casper was and Casper was our final video we posted yeah. on our joint account. Yeah. Like a goodbye. Um, our, our yeah. goodbye video is an ad from Casper. I think probably the only videos we posted in that house. We're at yeah. Buy everyone. Buy our tampons and pillows. And yeah, we yeah. we never tampons and pillows go together like white on rice. No, yeah, you don't have to tell me that. I know. Yeah, I learned a lot about periods and tampons in that house. Yeah, you did. I I also think we should flag the reason. Like after being in this house for like a month and a half, whatever, Jack ended up landing an incredible role on NBC. Mm-hmm. NBC's La Brea TV show. Jack is an actor. Um, I don't. Did you say that already? I don't think so. Okay, so Jack is like an officially like IMBD actor. I'm right. bidibida actor. I have a he video of him finding out that he got the role. Oh, I cried. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I was so I, happy. I, I cried too. It we was like crazy to watch. watch. And it was beautiful. So at that point, it was like, we're done being a TikTok house. Well, right. also, Jack I had sh- to move to Australia to do it. Right. Well, I mean, like, we still had like a month before you shipped out. But it was like we had we had f- resigned emotionally. We had yeah. f- like every- pretending like we already didn't. But right. every day it was like a different. We had like fifteen going away parties for you. <laughs> yeah. Everyone was so excited, and then it was like, oh damn, 
Right. What the what the hell? What do we do? Right. What do we do? Jack like, shipping off so, to Australia. So happy for you, but like what's happening with my right. career? Right. Right. Yeah. Um, I, I was scared. It was honestly, it was, it was really was scary. scary. Yeah. yeah. Super happy for you. I'm yeah, sorry. of course. That goes without saying. Yeah. But, but it was like, like oh. Brooke had to find a lead. Right. Well, I didn't know. I was like, do I just go back home? Yeah. Yeah. Or well, also, or what? I feel like we just sort of glazed over our neighbor. Yeah. In the second house. Mm. Right. Oh, we, we were a member of Bachelor Nation. We were. Um, yeah. For like a month. Right. Oh. We're, oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Twice. Yeah. Who was? Well, the. <laughs> oh. Yeah. God, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But our neighbor who lived in the back house was on the Bachelor. Yeah. That At was an interesting time. thing to just be like, oh. Well, yeah. he had quite the lifestyle. I, I was really aware of it mm-hmm. because my shed was adjacent to his shed. Right. Mm. And so I at like 10 a.m., he would just be blasting like big booty mix. Right. I could hear it too because yeah. I was also backed right. up to his front and door. He would just be throwing parties. It'd be like Tuesday at 10.30 and there'd be like 20 girls just walking into his house. Yeah. It Bachelor would, Nation. Yeah. It Bachelor would Nation. genuinely yeah. be like 20 girls walking yeah. back yeah. there. Yeah. I mean, he's a good And they were different every guy. time. Yeah. It's like, who are these people? He's a yeah. stud. I agree. Yeah, he's a stud. Yeah. I, I, no one gets the word out like him. Yeah. No one can draw in a crowd quite like him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, we're just like four kids just like, hey. Hey, you guys. Well, and sometimes y'all doing? like his entourage would find their way into our living room. And into, and they'd and be into like, my room. Right. right. Yeah, and of bathroom. course, into yeah. the bathroom. They had to use yeah. and directly then, into your They were always room. like, oh, I wonder what's in this door. That would be me sleeping with my ocean sounds at full blast. <laughs> If that you were did, curious. That did happen during. It'd yeah. be like 9 p.m. and like five people would walk in and I we were like so new there. I was like, oh, um, welcome. Hi. <laughs> right. Like and for some reason. They'd be like, is this the bachelor party? Because <laughs> like, no. oh. you have to walk around our house to get back to this guy's house. Right. So the front door was just always like for some reason what not locking. Right. So like of course. Locked. And you couldn't find his door. No. So it would just be a girl being like, hey. Like, well. Are you yes. are you my mother? <laughs> <laughs> it was so- <laughs> And we were like, welcome. I guess, like, make yourself at home. Yeah. yeah. I didn't you know have what to some say. They'd the be holding, like, multiple cases of, like, <laughs> beer, truly, or something. Yeah. And... Yeah. Um, so also, at this point in the second house, Jack, once Jack had gotten the role, you had upped your diet game. Oh, this game. was my right. cotter. Yeah. You had right. upped your well, diet yeah. game. The camera adds 10 pounds. The camera, so adds the camera does add 10 pounds. And, and, and you yeah. were getting cut. And so walk us through what your trainer had told you your meal plan should be. And I'd love to. Yeah. I'm really glad that you brought this up. So basically, it was my time to start meal prepping. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I don't know how to cook. So my trainer, who didn't live in L.A., he was just sort of a man that I would occasionally face. Zoom with. I don't even that with your That's not a trainer. I don't know what that counts as. Yeah, you would would, um, do bench presses while a man watched you do it. Yeah. Yeah. What I'm hearing? Basically, yeah. It was, Mm -hmm. um, you know, adult content house. Yeah. Right. And he just told me that I could only eat cod, um, which I don't know. Maybe that was like a thing. I think that's a, he has a fetish. He has a fetish Probably. for cod. Is, that a, is there a cod, cod fetish? fetish? I, well, we don't kink shame if on this show. If there is one, I have point. it. Yeah. yeah. Because I would, I would get pounds, pounds and pounds of cod, uh-huh. mm-hmm. bring them into the house. Mm-hmm. And I bought a griddle. Like a st- like mm-hmm. a countertop griddle. You also bought a wok, I believe. I bought a wok. I still a week, have it in a my week apartment. That I never used. Right. A week never before e- moving to Australia. I never even like opened it. No. Like, all no. the tabs and plastic you? were still on it. And I would just put the entire pound of cod, cover it in like some sort of sauce, like soy sauce right. or something, and just grill it and grill it. And I spent like eight hours a day grilling it. And, and I remember I was the only one home and I was at the table with you and you were trying so hard to convince yourself. You were like, yeah, I mean... Fish is really just what you what you marinate in it. So what what I'm tasting is really just a combination of all these different flavors. It's soy sauce. It's it's kind of sweet and it goes down really nicely. And you would sit there eating it with your fingers, shoving it down your throat, <laughs> looking well, looking. And I would I would watch just like oh oh my god I think I'm gonna be sick. And you're like yeah that is <laughs> that is good. That is that is really really mm. good. Well, I needed to eat like an egregious amount right. of cod, and you couldn't right. finish it. You couldn't, I couldn't so, finish. So I what would you do? Down. What would you do with the extras? <laughs> I so I would store it, mm-hmm. and my way of storing it mm-hmm. was by putting it in a large gallon plastic bag, mm-hmm. and so I would just have this this sopping, wet, thick bag of cod <laughs> that I would put in the fridge, and and mind you, the entire house smelled like wet cod. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wet yeah. old cod. I didn't even Yeah. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. <laughs> People would walk in and they would be like, "Oh my god, oh my was god. someone murdered?" Yeah. You're right. You guys bury a body was in this house. Someone murdered with a fish? It was with pretty foul. Fish. It was pretty foul. And I remember pretty like, foul is like one day we had a com- century. We had a co- 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 
<clears throat> come to Jesus moment where I was just like, we got to throw away the fish. The fish has to not be in the home anymore. And you were even like, yeah, the fish right. got to go. And, well, what's like, crazy about this is even though it was my idea and I was the one who was doing it, I don't think anyone hated it more than me because I was choking that stuff. Right. Down. I mean, I was gagging on You went it. from right. convincing yourself that it was good to what was the point when you were like, no, I can't convince. I think it was that you were I moving think day to Australia. Two, I think day two. Day two was yeah, yeah was when I. I think it you looked that. at me and you were like, I, "This is actually kind of hard, huh?" Yeah, I mean, yeah. I can still sort of like when I think about it, I can like feel the cod like choking yeah. up in my throat yeah. as I tried to like yeah. force it down. Yeah. There was a video that I posted of me walking out of the house, yeah. and going out to the dumpster holding my cod bag, and there's like liquid dripping out of the mm -hmm. bag. There was just like so much juice in it mm -hmm. that it would seep through the plastic, mm -hmm. and I went over mm -hmm. to the dumpster and I just threw it. <laughs> And this like wet cod was sailing <laughs> through the air. Mm -hmm. We just put like it in slow mo. Bird. We, in we put slow -mo. it in slow mo. Yeah, it was like the most magnificent. Like a, a, a <laughs> I can't even describe it. It makes me so sick. It's fucking gross. I feel like I'm gonna throw I, up. I haven't been. About it. Yeah, let's. Uh, Why not chicken? <laughs> I literally do. <laughs> I think it's Sally Dark. I think it's incredible <laughs> to take a step back and think about the man that you were facetiming. Yeah, I would text him and I would say, "Is is salmon okay?" Like, could I do tuna? Right, and he was like, no, it has to be caught. He was you like, also, send me a photo of you cooking. Like, <laughs> yeah. with, with your shirt off. Without your shirt off. And shirt on. You've, you've, been, you've, been, you've been corralled into a couple situations like that. And, and I know that you're, yeah. you're, you're, you, have a, you have quite the presence on more sites than just TikTok and Instagram. <laughs> right. You have some other sites that you're, you're, you have a, quite a large influence on. Uh, speaking of large. <laughs> <laughs> let's, div, let's dive into my favorite one. I think LPS... G? Don't act like you don't know the name. <laughs> yeah. Don't act oh like you don't know. Looked it up. It's on your your favorite that site. Yeah, we all, know. I we all know. It. It, it's crazy that you got and those so, letters right so, off the top. So so Jack has <laughs> at, at some point, I don't know, through Googling himself or what, so, okay, found out that he has a large presence on a, on a site called LPSG, Large Penis Support Group. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, everyone has a target demo. Yeah. And it's really it's really hard having a large penis, so you do it, need it, a support. It's, it's not it your fault. Hard. Yeah, no, all the time. It's hard constantly. It's constantly hard. Yeah. I, so what was happening is, this was well before the show or anything, to get verified, you have to have articles about yourself. Right, right. And right. so I was <laughs> sitting at home Googling myself. So wait, mm -hmm. so to give background, to get verified on, on Instagram or anything, you have to have at least three pieces of press, mm -hmm. like press articles online yes. that mention you right. by name. And so I was looking for that. Naturally. Right. And the first result for my name was Large Penis Support Group, and mm. which is, I think, maybe... Still one of the first results. Right. Oh. And okay. it's basically. Can we pull that up on the. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can pull it up at home. Oh, oh there you it pulled is. it up. Okay. Oh, LPSD. Let's see. Good. Yeah. Oh, well, my I, well God. I mean, it is it is a gay porn forum. So, <laughs> so just, you know, that like is. That if you're. I'm, you know, normally there's a banner ad. Um, I've visited this a few times. My favorite part is if. I don't know if we can go back to LPSG or if we don't want to give it any more airtime, but there's specific asks like. Fit, like it's a picture of Jack shirtless. Any way we could get any more skin <laughs> at all? Does he have yeah. any bulge? Like picks? any bulge People picks? Want to see any the bulge. any yeah. feet picks? Like, yeah. hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank another sponsor of today's podcast, Bud Light. Zero Carbs Beer is here. We're excited to be one of the first podcasts to partner with the brand new Bud Light Next, their first zero carb beer. You heard that right? <laughs> zero carb beer. It's super crisp, super light, with 80 calories and 4% ABV. You know what I have to say about that? Tell me. Wow. It tastes, like they said, it's super crisp, super light. We talked about it last Refreshing. week. It's, if I had it, could pick another You don't even it. like beer. I don't I don't typically like beer, and I like this. It's Because it's so light it's and crisp, so light. as I'm well as refreshing. Like, Ooh. Ooh. Did you hear that? Ooh, yeah, I'm going to do Do yours in the, into the mic. Get okay. some ASMR. Hold on. So just do it and yeah, just open it. To hold the mic and well, Ooh. Ooh, that was crisp. Yeah, sorry. Um, Connor? Yeah. Where do you think that you could enjoy these by chance? I mean, have you ever been to a park? Mm -hmm. You could have these there. That's have you you've been to the beach? I'm sure. I have. You could have these there. You could have these in your bed if you're a little hungover. Because mm -hmm. guess what? They're crisp. They're light. They're, they're and refreshing. They're refreshing. They're better yeah. than a glass of water. I can tell you that much. And I can tell you right now that you could also have these while playing golf if you choose. And I do, and I will, and I have, and I will again. Mm -hmm. um, and Don't also, believe us? Do you not believe me no, or us? I don't know yet. Go try Bud Light Next for yourself. All right. It's in stores now. To find a retailer who delivers right to your door, head to BudLight.com slash next. Again, that's BudLight.com slash next. 
Enjoy responsibly. Messaging for 21 plus. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. What's crazy yeah. about that first entry is I've done so many live streams. Yeah. I've been shirtless on live one time uh -huh. ever, yeah. ever, ever. Yeah. And they have 40 pictures. Yeah. Of it. Right. Yeah, well, yeah. Time. Yeah. Well, these, these and are, then these I made a, I made a video about it being like, this is crazy. Yeah. And they like taunted me. They're in there being oh, no, like, yes, Jack, we? we're not going to stop. <laughs> oh, my God. What do you I'm think we're going to do? Stop posting? <laughs> it's I, me that runs this site. I kind, of, <laughs> I kind of feel like, not bitter per se, but I, I couldn't find myself on LPSG. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, we all wish we could be on it. Do you have shirtless content? Yeah. No, I've, I've been very mindful yeah. about that like since the jump. Um, but I have intentionally posted my feet, and I'm also not on Wiki Feet. Jack's on Wiki Feet and has oh, five you stars. Are? Right. Well, he's a beautiful boy. You know. What can I you have nice feet. <laughs> Connor, I bet you by next week you'll be on LPSG. I've, yeah, I've, just I've, I've publicly. Well, actually, yeah, now that we've you talked were about barefoot this. around West Hollywood so often I've, that I don't know why you're not. I've on. had he was a, flaunting it. He was I've, trying to get on Wiki Feet. Mm -hmm. I've had a very public ask to be on Wiki Feet, yes. and I I assure you these feet are. Hot as fuck. Five star feet. Right. You yeah. people want to have sex with my feet. Yeah. A lot of people Personally, do. You're looking yeah. at them. A lot of people do. I haven't heard. I haven't heard from them yet. But they're out there. You know one thing that happened at that second house? What? Um, just the constant construction next door. Oh yeah. So like that was another reason why we couldn't make videos is because the so audio true. was mm. horrible. Mm. You know. And then of course when we left. The house next door was finished. It was finished. It was finished. Yeah. Yeah. Immediately. Beautiful. The next day, construction, gone. Gone. Yeah. Yeah. That house just, we could not have made one video. No, there was no way. I did see Will Ferrell at that blue bottle with... Molly Shannon. Molly Shannon. Yeah. When yeah. they were discussing a project. Do you think they live in the new house? I don't know. I don't know where they live. Okay, maybe worth asking. <laughs> I got, I walked into blue bottle after seeing Will Ferrell and Molly Shannon outside, which by the way, I was on the phone with you and I was like... <laughs> I was like, Jack, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. Because I saw I saw Molly Shannon. I was like, that girl looks like Molly Shannon. And then I like was like, who's she with? And I'm like, that's not Will Ferrell. <laughs> this is not Will Ferrell. I'm pulling, it's Will Ferrell. I parked so illegally, like in front of a... a well, you do that all the time, so that's I know, special. I know. I got a parking ticket this morning. <laughs> I, I parked in front of a fire hydrant, in front of like a, we will tow you sign. Right. And I said, I know, it's worth it. Like, I'm going to lose my car. I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something. I walk right past, didn't say anything. I've never, I'm not, I don't get really starstruck. We see people all the time. And I walk in and I'm like panic ordering and I'm like, uh, I'll do uh, a baguette at Blue Bottle. And I, that's all they gave me. And I sat right behind Will Ferrell and Molly Shannon eating a baguette. And in my head, a whole baguette. I'm just picking at it kind of just. Yeah, kind of how like Jack ate his cod. Just very right. slowly. My fingers, yeah, it's yeah. finger food. Yeah. Thinking in my stupid, dumb, delusional mind that they would look over and be like, oh, He's funny. You're he that guy. <laughs> not saying a single word. You're they're the, like, you're the funniest man. <laughs> me? I'm just eating a baguette at Blue Bottle. Like, I'm, I'm just like you. Like, we're just Comedy all, genius. This well, is your Wattpad. In my head, I'm like, they're going to invite me to see what they're Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they didn't. They didn't even look at me. It's okay. <laughs> this is yeah. his, like, One Direction fan right. fiction. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. 100%. Yeah. Are you on yeah. Wattpad? Is that, has anyone written any stories about yes. this? I hope so. Oh, what? Oh well, oh. well that we did collaborate on a little story on when we post on Wattpad about you. Yeah, yeah. Have yeah. you read it yet? No. Okay, um, I'll send it to you later. Yeah, I, yeah, I did. I wrote a fan fiction. Yeah, when you were when, younger. No, I was too old. Oh, okay. How I, old? In college. Right. Is and that, I is that and the what same was thing about? as smut? Um, it was. I don't really. know I think what smut, smut more so applies adjacent. to like smut adjacent. Smut yeah. applies more so to like um. I think like the books when you're checking out at like Walmart and there's like the funny like naked guy on yeah. Whereas like Wattpad is like no no no. I personally do sometimes. Okay, but I think Smut is more so like binded in a book, and Wattpad is strictly yeah. online. But it, yeah, but I I always thought of Smut as just like erotica. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, Smut can be whatever you yeah, want. Smut I'm not whatever. I'm you not want gatekeeping yeah, Smut. No no no. As ever. long as it's bound no. to Walmart. Yeah. As long as it's Smut, I'm good. I'm good to go. Yeah. I would you classify guys... the Glee fan fiction that I read that was longer than the Harry Potter and Goblet of Fire up? as smut. Well, 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 you say, we're just like really brushing off the fact that Brooke said she was too old to be writing fan fiction and right. she, you wrote one. What did you write it about? Yeah, can you tell? Um, yes, but I'm not giving you the title. It was, and I wrote it with Harry my Styles. friend. Styles? No, it was a crime novel mm -hmm. with, about, do you guys watch Criminal Minds? No. Dr. Spencer Reed. Ma it's Matthew Gray Goobler. Yeah. Um, who's just like the hot 
FBI agent. He's perfect. He's so perfect yeah. and so smart and just can't you, say enough. You guys things. have a type. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, yeah, we overlap. And I wrote, a lot, a lot. Uh, me and my friend co-wrote a piece on him, basically him being your therapist and then he can't be your therapist anymore because he has feelings for you. Mm. So it's a conflict of interest. Oh, that must have been hard. So yeah, that must have been hard. Then jump five years later into the future, you're both in the same force at the FBI. <gasps> Wow. Forbidden, forbidden love. What are you supposed to do? That's a conflict of interest in yeah, a big way. That's too. HR conflict issues. It's worse. It's all about, fan fiction is all about the tension and I had it in, in two really good parts. Unfortunately, I only released the first chapter. Uh, um, can you give us like a line of what Matthew said to you? No, I can't. Okay. Mm. Unfortunately. I, be, like, I can offline that to you. Yeah, mm, but yeah. I think I would need to be like heavily drugged to have you to read share. it since I read it, it I read it recently oh and what did the writing version. stand up were you proud of it um no okay yeah that's that's fine yeah there's um, always it, I do like that plot line though of Dr. Spencer Reed being your psychologist and then he's in love with you so it's a conflict of interest mm -hmm. and then you go your separate ways and then five years later you're on the same force no I, right. think, I love that I think that is something to work with the way I wrote it I also had no idea I didn't do my background research so in terms of psychology and also sex, so mm -hmm. I had no idea what I was talking about. Yeah, well, we, we do research. You, you'll, yeah. You're doing research right yeah. now. Yeah. I'm so sorry. I just remembered some other thing that I used to do when we lived in Commoner in 2.0. What? Wait. Where you guys were, you guys said that you didn't know where I was for a lot of the times. Mm -hmm. You knew that I would walk to Petco and look at the frogs. I did right. that Oh, yeah. You. Yeah, but I would do it a lot. I mean, oh, okay. for three months, we were like, we're going to buy a pet frog and no one ever bought I know. Well, there was a name they... for this frog. You had like a whole backstory. Oh, shoot, we did. Yeah. Yeah. I forget. Like an attachment. But they didn't yeah. have the frogs we wanted. No. And they didn't have the frogs we wanted. And I was driving and calling every location every day to try to find a, a, an, a, an applicable frog. Yeah. And I couldn't find one. And it was troubling. And it was hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I just wanted to flag that because I couldn't figure out where I was for all those hours during the day. And it was because I would walk from Petco to Petco yeah. to find a good mm -hmm. frog. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, we, I believe we got an email for questions about about the common room. Yeah. Yes. And I, I want to like, I, I almost forgot to talk about it because I think it's important. I think it'll open up yeah. a can of worms that yeah. we may want right, to, we may yeah. want to dive into this uh -huh. can of worms. Yeah. Juicy stuff. Um, We have an email from Emma. Thank you, Emma, for emailing. It's dearbnc at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. uh, she wants to hear about the juicy drama that can ensue in a content house. Who butted heads the most? Did y'all fight often? Give the people the juice. Um, should we ask everyone who, yeah. who their opinion on the matter? Let's all go around. Yeah. Connor, would you like to start? I don't remember any actual beef, but I could have, because it could have been about me, I guess. <laughs> Jack, what do you think? Uh, that's pretty much my take. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I definitely know that people didn't love my, my smoothie <laughs> loud shitting. That was, yeah, that was a no, combo. No, what? Well, what? <laughs> um, <laughs> what could you have gotten that from? That was yeah, my favorite I don't know. part. I mean, I thought maybe you liked it. <laughs> Mm. I think the problem was you weren't having any of the smoothie. Oh, that, that would have changed. Um, you could have yeah. sucked it out of your bed sheets when you spilled that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you could have sucked it out. Missed of there. opportunity on my end. I take full responsibility. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. You know, bygone. Live and you learn. Um, who butted heads the most? I mean, I, Brooke, Brooke and Connor maybe a little bit. Yeah. I mean, I do think at one point this podcast was about to be named Brooke versus Connor. I remember. Yeah. Being, being <laughs> Matt. Being I really it was. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. that makes sense. Um, I it was all, yeah. all out of love. True. All out of love. Well, yeah. I think we fought so much because we were close. Right, of course. Not so much. We didn't fight so much. But I remember the two times. The first time was the chewing. Yeah, when, the chewing is... When Connor... Which you've me. gotten really good about that. No, I haven't. Oh, never yeah, mind. He hasn't. Okay. I, I, I think I I've forgot about worse. this. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. that's what was, yeah. what was the chewing? He told me... He looked at me. I was eating in the kitchen. And he looks at me and goes, Really? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was sending emails and she was just kind of munching away at... Right. at God knows what. Yeah, and then he told me if eating. I wanted to chew like that, which was just, again, chewing into my food, to go into my room. No, I didn't tell you to go into your <laughs> room. Yes, you did. Brooke, you can live in this reality that you made up yourself, but You that's told not me true. to not do it in the shared space, which was the kitchen. In his no, defense, I... your bedroom was basically in the kitchen, so it was the same No, this thing. was the first house. Oh, right. This well, was I mean, one. No, be in private what? if you're going to you munch like that. You stormed off, and you've talked about this true, yeah. too. You, you well, stormed yeah. off because you were upset, and I said, I just wouldn't want you to go out and do that with anyone else besides me. I wouldn't want anyone else to watch and hear you eat. <laughs> no, I, I mean, if you say are you're you not, here? Yeah, or I don't know if we are. I'm saying, 
<laughs> and and this isn't specifically I'm about here, you. I hear that again, and I'm like, yeah, that's that's still. Okay, not, well, I have misophonia, so you're, you're right. absolutely being ab- you're, you're I mean, being ableist. <laughs> you're being ableist. This is a I have disease feeling, that I have, and I have feeling. Okay, well, come on, we're not going to see eye to eye. If someone is chewing, not you specifically, out loud with their mouth open. But my mouth wasn't open. Anyway, you okay. guys can see. Her what mouth we... wasn't open, and I'm a huge fat liar. Next episode, bro. You're, you're <laughs> accusing. Next episode, we should just, just get Brooke I to should... eat on camera. Yeah, I think Bring, when they asked this we, question, they we're picturing settled beef, and this is oh, not okay. We, we beef. did open oh. up a can of spicy hot this worms. Is, this is more yeah, active than the ever. Point. Yeah, you guys well, are so, so that, heated my, about the munch. That one's still wrong. My answer is that Brooke and Connor butted heads the most. But yeah. again, where did I you get that, that from? That's gonna be my answer now. <laughs> Brooke, I'm genuinely Brooke, sweating from that. From that, you, there's talk it's glistening on your Why? face. Why? Because you feel like you're wrong. Yeah, because no, you're, because I feel like you're so wrong. Really? Yeah. I know. I like. You're telling her not to eat. I know firmly. All right. I know. Remember firmly. earlier that I said I stand with Brooke. Yeah, yeah, I do. You s- you stood with me when I said not. I sh- you shouldn't support all women. I didn't say that's that. the only thing you've ever stood again. With me on. You're, p- <laughs> you're putting words in your mouth that you're, that is open while you chew. Easy. Ooh. You're. So I said funny. I stand She's with you because you, in the face. you you said we, it. Uh, you don't need to support all. women. And then you were the first one to jump up and say I stand with Brooke. The first time you've ever stood with me. Mm-hmm. All right, I stand with you a lot, and I sit with you a lot once a week mm-hmm. on this podcast. Yeah. And I'll continue to do that. Mm-hmm. Anyways, um, anyway, there was a you can email dearbnc at gmail.com. Who do you think is right in the chewing situation? <laughs> yeah, I would like to. You guys had yeah. a second beef that you did. Yeah. Oh, really that to. was when this was when I stayed at your house for a bit because when the door didn't lock and Connor came in at like 7 a.m. was like, let's let's go. Let's get up. And I was like, no, I want to sleep. And that wasn't an option. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Brooke did take a little um, hiatus. T- a, yeah, a hiatus, I took a hiatus. Oh, yeah. From the content uh, house and was just like, I cannot be around those men. And so yeah. <laughs> Jack and I Jack and I had. Well, we had a night. Mm hmm. And then woke up and like that I had a was night just... and remember my room's in the kitchen and it doesn't lock. So that means I'm blasting my ocean sounds and it's still not loud enough <laughs> to curb the people outside of my room and also the people that were coming into my room saying, Oh God, sorry, I didn't know anyone was in here. Okay, well devil's advocate. Yeah, please. You could have gotten a speaker for your ocean sounds. Uh, That's so true, Jack. Uh, mm. Yeah. I was doing my ocean sounds myself. I was lying there. Shh. <laughs> still, well, guess, guess who that's not gonna stop? You? The Janal brothers. <laughs> <laughs> they wanted to see your, wanted, s- your The Janal brothers sweet... and Bachelor Nation needed to be in. Bachelor Nation Bachelor wanted Lin- to see you, bro. Yeah. Bachelor Nation. So anyway, I'm up till 4 a.m. They're having like a little rendezvous outside of my door. I say, whatever, boys will be boys. <laughs> I'm not going to say love anything. That, that I'm not going to say anything like whatever. I don't want to be the, the bitch roommate. And then I wake up. I finally fall asleep at like 5.30. I had been in bed since, since 12 p.m. PST. Mm-hmm. Trying AST. No. AST. AST. Brooke has been asleep <laughs> since 12 p.m. Atlantic Ocean <laughs> Standard Time <laughs> on the East Coast. Finally go to bed at 5.30. I wake up to Connor jumping on my bed. <laughs> okay, you know that's not true. I was belly dancing at the foot of the bed. <laughs> and that's a and that was, And it was good. And that, there's a video of it. You, yeah. Hang on. Yeah. I do think Connor Connor's pretty good at belly point. dancing. And at first I think I you're tried. forgetting this is a content house. Yeah. At first, I tried. I was like, Connor, please, like, I just want to sleep, like, please. I was playing Senorita by um, <laughs> Justin Timberlake, yeah. which you know is one of my yeah, favorite songs. Mm. Senorita. And and then I w- I was just like, please, please. And then I think I was like, get out. And then you did get out. And then I packed a little bag and then <laughs> went to Sally Dars for like three days. Jack and I, w- Jack and I went to brunch. Yeah, we went to brunch. <laughs> <laughs> we no, we did guys- get out. We had a reservation. Right. Yeah. And marmalade. Oh, invited. Yeah, and marmalade. That's it was fun. Yeah. It was oh, awesome. That was, when I, that was when I made my petition to abolish. Yeah, I'm fuming uh, mad at Connor. I get an email from him. Dear Brooke. Pl- pl- praying you'll sign this petition to abolish abolish the American Girl doll <laughs> cafe. The American Girl doll store <laughs> for using real human <laughs> skin in their dolls. It was a great bit. Yeah, and people signed it. Yeah, and then we realized, I guess it's like slander. Oh, I got in so much trouble for creating a false petition about <laughs> American Girl doll cafe. Using You'd be real shocked babies. that American Girl doll fans are out for blood, and probably because they need more skin for their American Girl doll right. dolls. Mm. They came for my throat yeah you are a piece of shit for starting room and i'm like oh, listen i am like four mimosas deep <laughs> i don't really give a shit it was so funny though. if you can't acknowledge the humor and using real babies as american girl dolls i don't know what to say to you it's You're not funny for comedy yeah it's yeah. funny a comedian's job is to lie 
and not do background research. Yeah, yeah. People that's, that people that's that's a tell long time. So that's one of your quotes. Yeah, I yeah. know it. I know it. Yeah, no, real stories aren't interesting. No. So you see how you how you missed out. No, <laughs> I don't think I missed out. I think I missed in by going to salad bars and mm. doing crafts all day yeah. while you guys were being. That's another thing we I, did in the second. Well, we were doing our craft. Of which comedy. is right. comedy yeah. right. and out and about and being uh, seeing and being seen, holding which up is... a mirror to society. Yes, Jack. Yeah, yeah. You were so good at doing that too. I, I also want to flag that that morning I did post a picture, a video in my underwear, kind of dancing. I didn't even make it to Bulge Talk or whatever that <laughs> website is that you're <laughs> on. Bulge, bulge Talk. Well, there like, has to be a visible bulge. You know. Yeah. Okay, so that is the story of Common Room, and the way it ended <laughs> was that we never said anything. Yeah, it was a Casper and, ad. Yeah, the, right. a ca- we put a, out an ad, and then yeah. we never said anything. Jack went off to Australia. I just got on a plane. I got my own apartment. Um, Sally Dar had, had her apartment the whole time. Oh, yeah. plot twist: she never lived at Common Room. I don't know if we actually right. said that. I that was all fake. At one point, yeah. I just finished school, and then I um, summer passed, and then yeah. I dropped out. She of would school. just come every day, all day. <laughs> yeah. Jack went to Australia. You went back to your family's house in Orange County. Um, for a couple months and, and then, then I think we were all like oh like maybe we'll pick it up when Jack comes back that's why we're not saying goodbye but it's still up and you never know like we haven't touched yeah. the account. yeah we could post this is, post this is sort day. of picking it up yeah. a little bit yeah. 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 this is the closure maybe people wanted a little bit I think this is not pro- goodbye this, yeah no never yeah. this is never providing goodbye. more of an an update than Sam Levinson could ever dream of putting right. in for you. I love that full circle. Yeah, it's oh like yeah, a full circle. permanent will there, won't that? Yeah, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. Um, but I mean, Emma, I know that that was like a lot of info. I think who but it has the most. I assume it was me and Brooke, but, since yeah. we still have unsquashed beef. Yeah. Definitively. Yeah. 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 Um, and Jack got along perfectly. Sally Dar. Something special about we Sally Dar is that she literally. You don't take sides about anything no, ever. She really like, doesn't. You, She's a fence setter. Someone could. I could like run, like intentionally run over someone's family member, and you'd be like, like someone would be you. like, "Can you?" She be- always goes, "I hear you." Can yeah. you believe that Connor did that? And she'd be like, "Well, I mean, listen, like he's under a lot of stress right now. Like maybe, maybe his coping mechanism for stress is." Yeah. Hitting someone's family member. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I try to understand both sides, but I will say I do always form an opinion. But like, you just I don't share it. I don't share it, or yeah, because I think like well, one thing that I feel like you always say you're like I don't I don't know how to form an opinion. I just like take right whatever you tell me. That's what I'm gonna believe. Right. I think I have an opinion, but I just don't. I understand both sides at the same time. Yeah, yeah. I always have an opinion. It just changes every five seconds right. depending mm-hmm. on what other people. Yeah. Say. Oh right. yeah, 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 yeah. My opinion yeah. stays the same. I think I but. rarely don't have like a very polarizing opinion on stuff. Hmm. Rarely don't yeah. have. Mm-hmm. Rarely don't have. <laughs> you don't have. Not I'm have. struggling now you often to have. I, I often, often have. have. I often have a very polarizing opinion yeah. on every situation. Well, we should go back to the old common rooms at some point and just rent them out. Yeah, and I'm, just I like, like that. just Not, hang well, out. No, that's a really. Good I'm idea. banned. I'm Honor. I'm banned from Airbnb. Right. right. Yeah. So so one of us will just use the app and all of its subsidiaries as well, mm-hmm. which sucks. How many subsidiaries? Do yeah, you what does that include? No, no, maybe one or two. Okay, that's I'm, fine. I'm not. I'm, I'm not totally clear on the umbrella of Airbnb companies or who they're umbrellaed by. Right. One thing I am sure of. Rihanna's pregnant. Speaking of umbrellas. Mm-hmm. Wow. She stole the show at the Dior show. She looks time. good. She's cool. Um, she looks good. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank another sponsor of today's episode, BetterHelp. Relationships take work. A lot of us will drop anything to go help someone we care about. We'll go out of our way to treat other people well, but how often do we give ourselves the same treatment? Good point. I know. This month, BetterHelp Online Therapy wants to remind you to take care of your most important relationship, the one you have with yourself. Wow, good point, Connor. Whether it's hitting the gym, making time for your haircut, or even trying therapy, you are your greatest asset. So invest the time and effort into yourself like you do for other people. Personally, I look forward to my therapy appointment every single week, Thursdays at 1 p.m., if you need to find me, I'll be. I, you won't be able to reach me because I'll be in therapy. I've, I have tried to reach you and yeah. I haven't. Guess no. what? I'm. I'm. I ditched my old therapist for n- no reason, but I am signing up for BetterHelp oh using God. using our actual code. That's amazing. I know, and I'm really excited because I hear really good things about BetterHelp from from you and wow. from everybody else. And keep us updated. For some background, BetterHelp is an online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't even have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. That's two days. Give it a try and see why over 2 million people have used BetterHelp online therapy. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash BNC. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash 
B and C. B A N D C. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Are we all. Do you want? Uh, we, uh, uh, I was just going to ask totally. you guys if you're ready for some hot takes. Oh, yeah. People wrote in yeah. the hot takes this yeah. week. Sally Dara, I think you brought a hot take to us today, which I'm really excited to hear. Yeah, well, I'm kind of nervous. I said it one time on the internet and people were like mad. This really? was like, a, I think it either was like a really, really old TikTok or like an Instagram story. And people were like, I, I don't believe you. Have I heard it before? Maybe, maybe not. I don't think so. Okay. That's before we met. Um, we'll save that one for last. The best okay. one for last. We got some via email. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. First hot take that we got. A good teacher cannot be hot. Let's discuss. Let's unpack that. And I want to start that by saying I was a teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kelsey Kreppel right. of Kreppel Industries, the, more, the most gorgeous woman I know, teacher. Mm -hmm. I mean, I so, have many hot teachers and, that and were good. And basically, if I agree with this take, it's a personal insult to you is what you're saying. Yeah. Well, you were never taught by her, so I don't, I think, like, with your profession, it's like, mm. the only people that can speak to... Your attractiveness are my, plus are my preschoolers. Are your preschoolers. Okay. Right. And okay. they're not here. So right. they're not here. We c You can talk about a teacher experience you've had where someone right. is. I have to say really quick before we start that I had a conversation last night with somebody who said when someone is a profession that I'm working with, kind of like how like people are like, oh, a man in uniform. Yeah. It always ups. Like yeah, when I 100%. When the, yeah. the person, this is not. Well, we share all the same barber, but like when someone's cutting <laughs> your hair. <laughs> That's one thing that we should discuss. Why did we do that? <laughs> Everyone gets their hair. It doesn't make any sense. I went yesterday. When someone's cutting your hair, it's kind of like an experience. I'm like that's that's Are, your barber. What are you saying about Dan right now? Well, I don't want to talk. I don't. I don't Dan is by the <laughs> is way this tuning take in about now, Dan. Do we think Dan? Dan needs to be I'm, on the podcast. I agree. Or like when someone Dan when someone is like the chef at like a restaurant you yeah. always go to, or like. Uh, you know what I'm saying, or like, like a server. They have the authority. power. They have the power. It's they're the authority like, yeah. figure. Yeah, they're the expert in their yeah, specific yeah, field. Yeah. So I think in that sense, like, is it professional for a teacher to bang a student? No, not always. Where, how'd you get there? Well, because yeah, that was a total pivot. You could be a good teacher, but that would make you a bad That's teacher. Its own you could be a hot teacher, a teacher that doesn't different. bang their student. Well, I don't know. <laughs> well. <laughs> I guess you could. Do you? I feel like and that's a, a point that I did <laughs> that did not cross your mind. Yeah, <laughs> everyone should say, um, like, did anyone? Did everyone have a crush on a certain teacher? Yeah, yes. of course. Okay, would everyone like to share their teacher crushes? Mine was my softball coach. Right. I was actually really good at softball. What was? Didn't you see someone that reminded? What was the name? At that, point, don't you remember? There was someone that we were like, you look like Mister. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. Ja our Jack Phillips looks like my softball coach. Mm -hmm. Ooh. But um. <laughs> He, I was actually pretty good at softball and was going to be on varsity. I had been yeah. on JV freshman year, junior year, freshman year, sophomore year, junior year, and senior year was going to be on varsity. And then my softball coach, I'm not going to say his name, uh, my softball coach, who was like in his 20s, recent graduate from my school, decided to coach intramural C team softball. And I said, See you guys. <laughs> I'm heading down to C team. <laughs> I'm suddenly really <laughs> bad. <laughs> and then I play, I did that for the whole season. Yeah. 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 Sometimes you got to follow your heart and not yeah. your yeah. head. Yeah. yeah. You do anything for love. Yeah. Did but you I... guys end up together? Mm hmm. <laughs> yes. So yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. He'll be going to jail as soon as this airs. No, he won't. No. How old were you? 18. Oh. <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> You're lying. We didn't. We didn't end up together, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but I will say, I was giving this a lot of thought, and this is either going to be the dumbest thing I ever say in my life. Or the smartest, and it could go either way. And I want you to hold me accountable. I think it's a fact, science wise and just research wise, hot people get more opportunities in life. Yes, that is a fact. Duh. Yeah. So if you're a hot person that has all these opportunities in front of you and you choose to be a teacher, which is something that has low reward, low return, you're not getting paid a lot. In you are senses. truly passionate and good at what you do for the most part. Wow. Is that smart? Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm loving that. Yeah. Point. I'm loving yeah, that. Because you could do a lot of things with a hot body and a hot mind. Trust yeah. me. And I, you chose I, to be a teacher. Look and you're the youth of You must really care. Yeah. Thank you. Love that. Jack, you should be a teacher. Should I? Should yeah. I pivot? Because you care about people. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you're a good person, you'd be a yeah. teacher. Right. Not well, that's actor. a big F. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a big F. I mean, I can't think of any hot teacher I had where I didn't have a better opinion of them because they're hot okay, I, but can you I loved tell us them. about your teacher crush yeah yeah my uh seventh grade gym teacher i remember her name and i'm not gonna say it yeah. she was just maybe the hottest person on the planet uh -huh. really? it was like so insane 
Uh, but I mean, she was doing gym class with middle school boys. Uh, so she like left the school after like a year. Uh, yeah. Oh my God. That must be hard. Yeah. 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 yeah for Crying her. For her. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's lethal. Crying. Not because of Ruthless. me. No, you wouldn't. No. You wouldn't. No. no. There's one that comes to mind who objectively like, I, it's, it's, it's hard to say. Like, I don't think like objectively she was like, I think it's, it's, it's more of like her being my teacher. Like what I was saying, was, it's like probably a yeah. s- 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 psychological right. thing, but right. she was my friend's mom. Oh, and yeah. also my also teacher. Teacher, yeah, wow. that's a double. So whammy. I think that that probably had something to do with it. it uh, I, but I don't. Double I can't whammy. Bre- I can't break yeah. it down. But yeah. I think that that was probably. Is the friend's mom thing like also a plus on top of? I don't. I get. I don't know. I, that, I mean, the fact that like you were like think of a teacher you had a crush on. I was like this one, and I'm like, why did I do that? Everyone has. I think that that's a universal truth. Mm-hmm. That everyone if you has- can't immediately name like who's the teacher, then. You didn't go to high school. Right. It's crazy because well, I, I think, didn't think I was going to have one. And then I literally. I no, everyone has one. Everyone has I one. I think yep. then you are you would be like, okay, who was physically like the hottest teacher I had instead of being like, I had this like weird attraction. Not like weird, but like I had this attraction that was magnetic to this teacher for some reason. Right. Mm. Yeah. I think it's, mine's a combination. I had a crush on um, my history teacher in high school. And what was hard is that I went to boarding school. So you like lived with the teachers. And so he was around all the time whoa like so i saw him at breakfast i saw him at lunch i saw him during f wow. period off, or whatever off i saw him for dinner i saw him with his children like how it was startling just, is that a teacher off hours i mean it's it's like weird but also normal at the time it's like oh yeah there's just my teacher like, like having dinner, after with, his family. dinner with his kids isn't really part of the curriculum oh yeah probably well it's it was important for me as a, again a visual well learner you're getting to a, see a man with you're his getting children. a 360 view and i would go spend the night at my friend's house whose mom would yeah, be living there, right? Mm-hmm. And that was also, yeah, something that I played liked, into it. I liked my history teacher because I was very bad at U.S. history, and he would ask me the same question because he knew I knew the answer. So he'd be like, "Okay, like what was like the kind of like financial system that like France like did?" And I'd be like, "Laissez faire" or like whatever laissez faire. Yeah. I don't. Even did know you say it like that? Means. Yeah, he would ask laissez me. He'd be like, "Sally Dar." Like, what's the answer? And I would just the whole for the entire year. Special. The only time I spoke up is when I said laissez faire. Yeah. Nice. Wow. Yeah. That that's a good. Like a that's a good technique. Yeah. That was actually make you that's feel. A, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good character, Arch. Babe, laissez faire. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, babe. Laissez faire. Laissez faire. <laughs> we did not so engage wait. in any. <laughs> I think we. And if kids happened. were there, there was no the crazy extracurriculars part. between me and my no one. In, no one in this studio engaged in extracurriculars. extracurriculars with you me. did list a lot of things that you did with the teacher that I don't feel like are part of boarding school. Like what? you're like, oh, you see him in class, you see him at dinner, you oh, see him see at, at night, you see him in the morning. dorms, you, you see, see him, him naked, <laughs> yeah. you see him making you dinner and <laughs> breakfast in the morning. <laughs> yeah. You see the text that he's you sending. You see him you. on trips that the two of you take to an island you don't ever tell anybody about. You, you see, see him behind bars because <laughs> <laughs> You see his wife from his closet because you're hiding because she came home early. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah. Oh. It's just a thing you do. It's yeah, just, yeah. It's just part board. of boarding school. Yeah. You know, yeah. That's boarding school is crazy. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, Illusion. Teachers can be hot. Good teachers. <laughs> yeah. And good, your hot take is wrong. A good teacher yeah. can be hot. And in yeah. some ways, yeah. and I think it's been proven time and time again in literature yeah. and film. Yes. Sometimes it increases. I'm starting Blood to think flow. a good teacher has to be To hot. the brain. Yeah. Oh, Jack, I wouldn't. I don't ag- I no, know. No, I had a you lot. Can, of, hey, I've had plenty I'm of really so in good. On this take. Uh, yeah. I had a, a bunch of fugly, yeah. brilliant yeah, teachers. Ugly yeah, fucking yeah. teachers yeah. <laughs> that are great. I don't uh, know. We I just got so fired up from this conversation. <laughs> I'm like the all other, the way. You went in. the other way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All you're all in. in. Yeah. An ugly teacher. You went so. He's a shitty teacher. <laughs> That's what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Get out of my classroom. You weren't so right. You ended up being left. I cannot learn about calculus with your face here. Right. Put a bag on it. Okay. So and can can you like get a haircut? Come back, <laughs> Dan. That- yeah, I don't understand <laughs> derivatives with that bowl cut. <laughs> <laughs> teacher has a bowl cut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, a good teacher can can be hot. Can be hot or fugly. Uh, so number two of these hot takes okay, sent good. in the number two slot, and I, this is this is just like a, even for me, it's a crazy take. Yeah. The number two says Timothy Chalamet is just normal looking. Now I want to start here because I know you guys have opinions. Timothy Chalamet looks like an old haunted. <laughs> m- m- like painting. That's not normal, though. 
if you agree with this opinion, if you you, ha- you clearly have it's strong- for the, it has to be for the bit because it's so oh. fucking ridiculous. Who looks like that? No, no yeah, he looks. But I think here the, here's my question: Are we saying normal in terms of like not unique? Or are we saying normal in yes, terms of like I, he's not attractive? Per- that's how I, I'm perceiving. He's a very unique looking man. Yeah. We can't argue that. If I, I, I turn, if if, if yeah. I was at a if I was at a, that gas station next to Barney's Beanery in West Hollywood, yeah. and I'm checking out, and I turn around, and he's behind me. I'm going. <gasps> Like right. I'm like gasping, right? But I'm yeah, not, yeah. not not like it's out like of like nightmare. So that Christmas, not normal looking then. Not normal. No, no, not by any not means. No. Obviously, I think he's like gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Well, I think, but even I, if you think he's butt ugly, still there's yeah, nothing normal about that. Yeah, he looks haunted, and yeah. he looks like he needs a snack. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, he, he looks <laughs> yeah, like, that boy needs a snack. Yeah, like get That's <laughs> me after my magic spoon <laughs> in common room. That boy needs magic spoon. That's, been <laughs> that's Jack. That's Jack yeah. staring eye to eye with his cod. <laughs> <laughs> that boy <laughs> needs some cod. The red he needs, eyes. He needs a Celsius. He needs some creatine, and he needs this is some me cod. trying to convince myself to choke down one more piece. Of cod. <laughs> no, it, yeah, it, it, it just it, this is like what I look like when I've woken up from like a three day bender. This is like. <laughs> Me walking into Brooke's room like I'm sorry for <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> yeah, oh no, God. This it's, is <laughs> it's just like he looks like an echoey room. Yeah, yeah. If you know, he, if he was hollow. a hollow, hollow. that's hollow. what I meant to say. Hollow. Yeah, <laughs> I got you. Yeah. Great, great cheekbones. Yeah, yeah no, awesome, I awesome cheekbones. He would have named. Oh, you know who he house. looks like? Mm-hmm. He looks like his name could also be Edgar Allan Poe. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 yeah, right. He's probably related I, to him. I really come am, to think I, of it. I think that that person who wrote in the hot take would be the only one to look at him and be like. He, yeah, he's normal. He's normal yeah. looking. Yeah, and like, you know where does she go to high? Whoever right. wrote that in, where do you go to high school? And I'd where like do you go to, go. to college? He's, because sign me up. He's yeah. normal looking in the sense of like I hang out behind a Seven Eleven all the time. Right. Mm. Yeah. 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 Anyways, I okay. love so you, I th- Kimmy. Th- yeah, we're, I mean, no, I mean, we're not saying he's not a great actor. Yeah, I just want to emphasize that. Should he be watching? Right. Huge fan. Yeah, yeah, huge fan. Yeah. We love your sister on Sex Life. Oh my god. Yeah, she was really good. Love you, Yeah, she was. Yeah. Um. Sally, do you have a hot take? Yeah, and I'm like nervous that it's not going to be that great. No, it is. Okay. My hot take is that I think everyone loves mayonnaise. They just don't think that they do. I love mayonnaise. Oh, I agree with that. I can say as someone who used to hate mayonnaise and whose mom, like, because she took it so personally that I, I was doing it because I was being oppositional. Mm-hmm. And not because I didn't like the taste, uh-huh. which is like the taste itself. I, like I'm not going to eat it. Yeah, I could eat a spoonful of ketchup. I can eat a spoonful of barbecue sauce. Okay, that's a hot take. That's fine. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm saying I'm saying I could that's do the it. Craziest show thing us, I've ever heard us, in my life. Show us. I Does anyone have ketchup? I couldn't yeah, take I a spoonful of mayonnaise now that I like it and take a bite of it. Well, that's a texture. It. There is no condiment I'd want to just eat spoonfuls of. That's worse than the mustard cod. would be the mo- the easiest one, perhaps. Mustard. Maybe, I would do yeah. ketchup. Ooh, what the? F- you would do ketchup before mustard. That's a question. I don't like mustard. Ketchup, what, you would you do a yeah. spoonful Straight of ketchup in? or yes. mustard? Mustard. Ketchup. You do, I do mustard. I love ketchup. I would do ketchup as well. But what I want to say is- Mustard that, has zero calories. My mom- Huh? My mom- <laughs> Mustard has- Wait, what? Yeah, mustard has zero calories. So why wouldn't- yeah, we're, Are we're you cu- switching Are you yeah. switching teams? Yeah, because we're cutting. I. <laughs> I, I uh, <laughs> my mom used to put it on my sandwiches. <laughs> and then after I was done, I'd, she'd be like, there was mayonnaise on that, by the way. And I was like, fuck, I hate you. Why did you do that? Because I, I just like literally didn't want to eat mayonnaise. Right. Yeah. It was about me. But no, man, it's just dope, yeah. kind of. But yeah. every kid has like a food like that. Every every ch- every person, every child mostly, but every person goes through a phase where they're like, nah, fuck it, I don't like mayonnaise. Right. And then you always come back. You to always it. come back. Yeah. You I, always you know come back. Men and come I'm back. Their lives get once worse. you go yeah. mayo, you can't go back. I'm yeah. saying that as someone who's played both for both teams. Yeah, no, I mm-hmm. used to also not get mayonnaise as a child. And I was mm-hmm. like, oh, it's gross. Right. Like, well, I don't need it. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't add anything. Wrong. I agree that the most diehard mayo hater would eat a sandwich not knowing there's mayo in there and not think twice about it. Yep. I, yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, they God. just wouldn't know. Well, yeah. it was it was sushi that did this. Oh. Because they have spicy mayo yeah. and like forms of mayo. Yeah. And now it's cool. Mayo is cool. Also, may- mayonnaise is in, is in so many things. Yeah. That Like, you're eating mayonnaise Half I half have, of the time. Oh, I have I have. God. Oh shit! Oh, my. oh, oh no God. way! Yeah, Luke, thank God. Okay. Well, okay, I didn't say I I'll wanted put my to money do where this. My, oh, yeah. I'm not doing the mustard. I'll do, do you mustard. Know? I'll right. do ketchup. I mean, I'll do the mustard. You're doing so. You're doing ketchup. So I, yeah, I don't mind. Guys, to give. Uh, to, I mean, for, I'm, I'm still at a nauseous place because I've been talking about the cod for so long. Well, to that's give audio audio only listeners. 
audio only listeners, we've we've now been brought <laughs> a plate with four spoons mm-hmm. uh, and a pile of ketchup and a pile of mustard, which will now be ingested. Oh, and it is yellow mustard. It is not my oh, favorite grape poupon. Like? I like. Yeah, I, like a, I want a Dijon. I like a um a more coarse oh. grape poupon. That that is a very I'm watery sorry. mustard. If yeah, the camera I was can get that, more of a that is that is wet. That mustard. is wet. You know, oh, I'm sorry we didn't have that for you guys. It's today. sopping. The <laughs> mustard is more watery than the ketchup, whereas I feel like I mean, it's I'll normally. What you're going for? Wait, oh, so Jack! That oh, whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. One, one, are we not? Well, for, to, to, leave some for the rest. Of I want to describe what just happened for the dog. <laughs> okay, I thought we were eating <laughs> spoonfuls of this. We we've all four been dogging the whole time for like thirty seconds, <laughs> because I think it's a little bit of a panic state. <laughs> but we do need to flag for the audio only listeners that we're we're all working on talking, passing the talking stick. Mm-hmm. Um, was for the audio only listeners is Jack just went in so hard, and. It, put all of the mustard on his spoon. He was like, oh God. And then <laughs> And Brooke is now about to do it. This should be an ASMR. We said you... a, we said a spoonful and I I got a spoonful. There's also a lot of mustard left. Oh, that is oh, so shit. fucking disgusting, you Connor. Me, you left me all the fucking watery ass mustard. Here, well you should have gone here, son. Don't be busy. Come here, Brooke. <laughs> come here, Brooke. Ew. Big talk. Come have your come I have your breakfast. The water. Can you like Oh, oh it's so hard to get onto the spoon. You would well, never you're think like that. putting it on the side of it. I know. Well, it's I, I don't have a ton of experience. You're having trouble using you the go, spoon. Bro. Ooh, take that bite. Okay. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna feed you it to you. Okay, cheers. <gasps> oh, cheers. Cheers. I don't like mustard though. <laughs> oh, get in there. Oh, she cleaned that spoon. I mean, oh. <laughs> how yeah, is I stand, it? I actually liked it. Really? Yeah. Brooke Mustard's is easy to Brooke go it, down. Brooke, how was it? Do you like it? A- Are you having a, an easy time swallowing it all? And then let me just yeah, give you some, some liquid death. Okay, well, it's your turn. You, I mean, you seem like you're doing just fine. I, I actually know, sort of liked it. You know what, it. You know what just, uh, just to just... get in here, because I... Oh, you're oh, doing both? both? I'm playing for both teams Jesus here. Jesus well, Christ. I, well, you guys have left me all the fucking watery ass <laughs> shit. <laughs> get in, Sally. Dark. Okay. Oh, how was that, Connor? Ew. For our audio listeners, Connor oh. just put all of it, water yeah. included, Any in his mouth. Any water left? Oh, no. <laughs> no. Uh, there's an aftertaste that's hitting me. Well, and, and I would just that's like to. That's vomit inducing. I, I wanted to sort of like put on a face there, but that was yeah. that was horrible. Yeah, Sally, I'm having a hard time looking at that this right now. So. It was, it was fine. Ew, but I have no choice but to get some ketchup, and I didn't mm-hmm. even want to I'm do like, the ketchup. I'm, I'm gagging a little bit. I am having a hard time. You look like you're about to vomit. No, I'm okay. Why? Ew. Ooh. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's, it's something I discovered. Whoa, you're going to drop it. <laughs> Something that I discovered is that this does induce bowel movements very quickly. Right. It could be maybe that was the whole problem. Mm -hmm. How is it, Sally Dar? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Oh, she's. Oh, Oh, I thought that was going to be projectile. I thought that that was a little bit of a a wet one. Okay, I'm good. Okay, it's like coming back up in the back of my throat. So I'm just going to move directly forward because something happened. Sally Dar's crying and like this is ending a lot. Are you crying? (laughs) I'm okay. Your eyes. Oh, that was a, no, I'm good. Hey guys, I'm, trying, I'm good. We're I'm back. trying not to talk too much. much. I'm scared of it. Well, so, all I have in my stomach is some coffee. <laughs> yeah, me too. And <laughs> ditto. And ditto. So it's yeah. ketchup, mustard, and, and and coffee, black coffee. Oh yeah. Um, mm-hmm. I have a question really quick, and then I think we should probably start letting everybody go home. Okay. Yeah. Um. So I posted my story the other day that I brushed my teeth in the shower. Okay. And I got like a bunch of people that were like, "What? Ew." Why is that gross to anyone? I'm conserving water. I'm in there and I really like being in the shower. It's kind of like a human car wash, mm-hmm. especially if you're not uh, like in, like the whole time bathing. You're just kind of enjoying it, like a standing up hot tub. And uh, my, my, my crew here for, for, for audio only is all visibly having trouble holding back whatever's happening in their stomach. Everyone is drinking my shaking. water. I'm shaking. Well, yours is the only one with liquid in it. I didn't expect that to be the experience that it was. I was trying to change the subject so hard, but if you guys... No, no, no. I want to hear... You know what? You know what? You you brushing your teeth in the shower, you know what it reminds me of? Huh. A 12-year-old girl who read about it on online somewhere, read it, saw it in a book, and um, is like, you know what? This is going to be kind of a cute, quirky thing to do. Mm. And then at sleepovers, everybody's like, oh, wow, she's unique. You do a lot of like mm-hmm. rom-com meet cute stuff. Like what else? Like like eating the baguette and hoping Will Ferrell notices oh, you. Yeah. Like brushing your teeth in the shower, I... like sitting on the bench and like looking into the sky. You know, I have a lot of time alone. Yeah, I think that it's f- primarily gross because the shower water's hot, and you're brushing your teeth with hot water. You don't don't you like that... to brush your teeth Maybe with cold water? Cold you don't. You don't put like a little bit of water in your mouth when, sh- when you're in the shower. I don't brush my teeth 
with the wa- said water. Well, but you do shower beers. I'm discovering a lot about myself here. I do do shower beers. I actually have a Yeti cooler in my shower to sit on because I don't have a bench in my shower. So I sit there. I do anything I want to. I get a beer out of my Yeti cooler. I brush my teeth. Here's a I, question. Yeah. Do you think you have sensitive teeth? Like, does cold water, like, do you like ice water or do you like room temperature water? I, I don't put ice in my water. And there I, you go. I do have sensitive I, teeth, too. Here, oh. Here, can I say this? Hot yeah. take. People that are sensitive to ice ice water, <laughs> Jack, ice. and Jack is saying that he's going to throw up. So ice just, water. Just, 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 I would just sidebar Jack. Jack just whisper to me <laughs> that he is going to throw up. Okay. But, well, like, just I'm still my on the mustard. I'm sorry. That was like so crazy. If you throw up, I'm gonna definitely throw up. Yeah, yeah and I'll that'd be a great it. way to end an episode. I'm just saying. Oh, stop burping. Imagine an audio only vomit. Could you hear my burp when I did that? Yes. Oh, sorry, audio <laughs> only. People, people that have like the worst sens- ASMR ever. <laughs> I'm just gagging <laughs> into the mic. Yep. People that have sensitive teeth and don't like ice cold water are maybe more likely to brush their teeth in the shower. Oh. They like the warm water. I am so lost. Time to on get the to the bottom of this sensitivity thing. Okay, guys. I can't look at Jack. He's making me want to be sick. On account of everyone (laughs) being extremely nauseous, I think we're going to wrap up this episode. Thank you so much for listening, Jack and Sally Dar. Thank you guys so much for coming on. Oh, and thank you. And it was it was the time of my life. I would do it it all over again. Two weeks in a row. Catch up. Catch up. Mustard, guys. Where can everybody find you, really quick? Oh, uh, on TikTok, I'm Jack Martin. On Instagram, I'm real Jack Martin. Because <laughs> there's no other. Right. There's, there's no there can't other. be any fakes. Yeah. yeah, no fakes. And on NBC's La Brea. And on NBC's True. La Brea, mm-hmm. season two. Yep. Um, TikTok and Instagram, I am Sally Dar Griffin. Letterbox for all my film bros. Sally Dar, Twitter, Sally Dar. Um, Sally Dar Griffin Art for knitwear. And you're a Snapchat queen, too. And, and Snapchat. I'm at Sally Dar. Uh-huh. And YouTube, Sally Dar Griffin. Yeah. Um, and if you want to watch, Sally Dar made these amazing vlogs of our time in Common Room. If you want to go I watch did. her YouTube yes. videos. If you want to see the gooey knife, the um, molded pita bread, if you mm-hmm. want to see both houses both are in houses. there. Yep. Um, yeah. Jack getting the role. Yeah. Yeah. Brooke. Me and Connor fighting. Yep. Yeah. I was going to say Brooke and yeah. I fighting. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, smash that motherfucking subscribe button, like, comment, email us. Mm hmm. Follow us on everything, BNC, MAP, and I, I love you. And uh, ditto. Goodbye. See you next week. Bye. Bye.